Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jason, and today I'm going to be talking about the medication system in Tarkov. If you can't tell, I'm super sick, so this is, might be a little painful to listen to, but if you're a new player, this could really help out, in my opinion. I've talked to a few new players recently, and they've all pretty much said the same thing. There's a lot of different types of medication and healing in Tarkov. It's a lot to learn, and sometimes when you're in the middle of a firefight, you don't really have a whole lot of time to learn. So I decided I'd make like a quick little crash course on the different things you can use and find in Tarkov. Hopefully it can give you guys a little bit more of a level playing field when it comes to playing the game and how you interact with everything. Uh, just a couple talking points before I get started. I'm not going to cover stems, mainly because I'm broke right now in the game and I can't buy all the stems. Two, it's just stems are like a whole nother animal. So once you feel like you've mastered the regular medication system in the game, definitely start looking into the stem system because stems will greatly affect how you interact in pvp and pve this is also my first time making a, a video like this usually i just play the game and make like quest videos and things like that so if you have any suggestions on how to make this better or different topics you'd like to see covered you know leave it in the comments let me know i'm happy to do it also my son is in the background so if you hear a kid you're not going crazy i apologize for the noise now that i've talked my ass off Let's get into it and talk about the different systems and the different things in the game. So, Tarkov has a wide variety of medication. Um, you have things up here for stopping bleeding. Um, there are different levels of bleed. There's a light bleed and a heavy bleed in the game. And you need different products to combat them differently. There's splints in the game because you can't break your legs. There's painkillers, but we'll go over these in a minute. And then you have like your actual healing uh, products. These are things that may do a little bit of everything, but they bring your general health back up. And then you have your uh, surgery kits. There's two different types of surgery kits. And we'll go over that in a second. All right, so first we're going to cover light bleeds. And these are your two bandages that are going to cover light bleeds. You're going to have your army bandage and your aseptic bandage. They're both two, two second uses. The aseptic bandage is only a one-time use per. The army bandage is a two-time use per. So if you have two light bleeds and you have two bandages, you're good to go. If you have two light bleeds and you have an aseptic bandage, you're going to need two of these. Again, these are only for light bleeds, and you probably won't use them a whole lot once you figure out the health system just because it's not realistic to carry this me around. Now we're going to move into heavy bleeds. Uh, there's three different products for heavy bleeds. So you have your uh, regular tourniquet, your Calloc, and then your S-March. The Hemostat tourniquet is a one-time use for heavy bleeds. So, you know, left arm heavy bleed, you're going to use it, it's going to go away. This is a three-time use. So if you have three separate heavy bleeds, you can use it three separate times before it disappears. And this is an injector instead of a regular tourniquet. So it, it injects something into your PMC and it causes the uh, stuff to coagulate or whatever and the blood stops <clears throat> this is your s march this is for your heavy bleeds and this is also a one-time use so these right here again the regular tourniquet and the s march one-time use tourniquets for heavy bleeds calloc three-time use tourniquets let's move over to splints and you're gonna have your regular immobilizing splint which is a one-time use in Tarkov, you can break your legs, um, which will cause you to not be able to move around. So this right here is when that happens, you can use one of these. It's a one-time use. So if your left leg is broken, you know, you use it, it disappears. The aluminum splint, however, much more useful. You can use it five times. So, you know, when you break your leg, heal, you still got four uses. You can carry it with you. You break your leg again, you get it. All right. So that's breaking your leg is pretty simple, straightforward. Um, yeah. Moving on from that, you're going to have your actual healing system in Tarkov. Now, this one is a little bit more in-depth. So, I'm going to try to cover everything. If I miss anything, I apologize. Okay. So, for the healing system in Tarkov, each limb has health points. If the health points go all the way down to zero, then the limb blacks out. You'll have to do surgery. Uh, if you black your thorax out, you're pretty much dead. If you get somebody farts in your direction, you're going to die. All right. So, let's talk about that. 
The first one we have is the AI2 med kit. This is also known as the cheese. It's the smallest med kit you can get. It only has 100 health points, two second usage. This is your very standard beginner healing. You're gonna find these all over the map. Scavs are gonna have these. Not very common to see like chatted players use these. Then you have your IFAC. Now this is a little bit different. This re restores your health points, but it also stops light bleeding. It says that it stops heavy bleeding. Don't believe it. It does not stop heavy bleeding. The IFAC does not stop heavy bleeding. I don't know why it says it does. The IFAC only stops light bleeds. So if you have a bleed and you want to restore some health points at the same time, you can use the IFAC. It'll get rid of the light bleed and it'll help you restore your health points to whatever limb you're healing. Then you have the AFAC. This one here will stop heavy bleeding and I'm 99% certain it also stops light bleeding. This one is the more common one for me to use personally. I like to carry this thing around because it's a one slot item and it's very useful. You can put it in your butt or your gamma container, your kappa container, your whatever the fuck you have, you can put it in there. All right, moving on. Next up for healing, we have the Salewa. This one stops light bleeds. It says it stops heavy bleeding. I, I, I genuinely can't remember right now. I don't think it stops heavy bleeding, but I know for a fact it stops a light bleed and it will um, restore your HP points as well. This is a two slot item, so it's a little bit bigger. This is a car kit. This one only stops light bleeding for sure. Does not stop heavy bleeds. It does restore uh, HP points. It's just another form of medication that you can carry around. I don't think there's any difference between the Salewa and the car kit. I could be wrong. Maybe there's some kind of painkiller effect in there that I'm not aware of, but as far as I know, they're basically the same thing. Two slot items. The Salewa is just more HP points. Last but not least, for healing, we have the Grizzly Medical Kit. This thing is like the end all be all of medication. It'll stop light bleeds. It'll stop heavy bleeds. I think it'll fix a broken leg. It says it removes concussion. I'm pretty sure you, it has like a painkiller effect with it. You can do literally anything with this, but it is four slots it is, and it is heavy. It is a big son of a gun to carry around. So this is the end all be all of medications, but it's a pain in the ass to carry around for space and weight. So it's a quick refresher, cheese, IFAC, AFAC, Gar, Salewa, Grizzly, light bleed, light bleed, heavy, light, light, all. Moving on, we're going to talk about the surgery system in Tarkov. All right, so this one is a five-use item. This is a 15-use item. Um, in Tarkov, when your HP points get down to zero on a limb, it, it's blacked out. You have to do surgery to repair it so you can heal it. This is a two slot item and this is a three slot item. Uh, this one fixes the blacked out limb um, up to five times so you can heal five limbs with it. This one fixes the blacked out limbs up to 15 times so you can carry it around for a while and heal it multiple times or do surgery multiple times. Um, but this one also repairs broken limbs. So this one does not. The CMS does not repair broken limbs. A serve 12 repairs broken limbs and those are your two sur um, surgery kits in the game those are the only two next up we have your painkillers it's going to cover these three first a noggin is going to be your first generation painkillers your starter painkillers you get four pills um they only last 80 seconds uh, it takes three seconds to use them it does remove some hydration but when you take painkillers your pmc is able to ignore the pain that he's dealing with so if you have a broken leg or something like that Whenever you have a broken leg, you can't run. You can't walk very fast. Um, it slows your PMC down. So if you're in combat or you know you're going to be in combat, you take painkiller right before and you'll be able to move around even with the broken limb for a limited period of time. Again, the anogans are only four time uses um, and they don't last for very long. Then you have Augmentin and Ibuprofen. Augmentin is a one time use. It lasts for 150 seconds gives you a little bit of energy takes some of your hydration i don't remember anything special about the augmentin it just removes the pain for a longer dur duration than the anogen then you have ibuprofen these are the my favorite painkiller for like pills um 
because you get 15 uses out of them and it lasts for 280 seconds. So you pop one of these before you run into a, a POI on the map. And if you run into contact, you'll be able to move around even if you're hurt. And then you have your uh, Vaseline Bomb and your Golden Star. These are also painkillers. The Golden Star helps with energy recovery and hydration recovery. Um, both of these remove pain. Vaseline, I believe you can use six times. Yes, six times. Golden Star, you can use up to 10 times. So they basically do the same thing. Um, maybe the Golden Star gives you a little bit more energy while you're or energy regeneration. Um, but they both remove pain. It's just for a longer period of time between one and the other. One of them has more uses than the other. Painkillers are going to be your best friend in Tarkov. That pretty much covers everything. I think I've gone over all of it. Alright, this is a good example of what I was talking about. So right here. I'll use the S-March. I have a heavy bleed on my right arm. On my left arm, excuse me. I used the S-March. It was a one-time use. I no longer have it. But my limb is blacked out. So, I could use either one of these surgical kits. You do your surgery, it goes through the animation. And now my limb is no longer blacked out. Now I could use one of these. We'll use the grizzly kit. And it restores HP points. One thing I do want to cover before we end this is you can quick assign something to your taskbar up top, like your four through nine, whatever, four through zero. And if you're in a firefight, say you have a Salewa assigned, to, or say you have heals assigned to four, you can hold four and use your scroll wheel and it'll pop up what is broken and things like that you can hover over it and you can tell it to heal that specific item by letting go and it'll heal that item or that limb most people don't know that it seems like it's a kind of a newer system in tarkov i believe it's only like two or three wipes old but it's a huge help um, it will save your life in a fight so yeah that's pretty much everything man um I hope I covered everything for you guys. If I forgot anything, let me know in the comments. I'll try to correct the video. If there's anything else you guys want me to go over, I'm happy to do it. Just leave a suggestion below. But yeah, good luck on the white moon, and I will see you guys on the playing field.